Hi, my name is Zadie, and today we're in the area of Ko Ie Ie, or Kalepalepo in Kihei. Hi, I'm Lixi, and today we'll be learning about the Ko Ie Ie Fish Pond and the Hawaiian Island Humpback Whale National Marine Sanctuary. And I'm Marley. Joining us here today is Joy Lin from the Maui Fish Pond Association, here to tell us more about this special place. Aloha mai kako. I'm Joy Lin Paman, Executive Director of the nonprofit organization Ao Ao Onalokoi O Maui also known as the Maui Fish Pond Association. Here we are on the island of Maui, in the moku of Kula, and within the ahupua'a of Ka'ono Ulu, where at its shores is graced Ko Ie Ie Fish Pond. If you were to walk along the shores of this area, you would come across other fish ponds that are known as Keokea Kai, Waiohuli Kai. Another name of this fish pond of Ko Ie Ie is also known as Kaono Ulu Kai, named after the Ahupua'a of Kaono Ulu. And as you can see, with the presence of all of these different loko ia or fish ponds, we know that at one time this was a very plentiful and bountiful area to fish. Another name that people might be familiar with is the name of Kalepo Lepo, which is a vast, long area along the shores of North Kihei that stretch for about a mile and a half. This area of Kalepo Lepo was known for being a fishing village. And back in the 1500s, that's when we believe Ko Ie Ie fish pond was built. Some say by the Menehune, others have other mo'olelo that they share too. In the 1800s, this area of Kalepo Lepo was a bustling town of trades. There were also a lot of whaling ships that used to dock in the middle of the bay, and uh, those people would come here to the shoreline, and people would trade from Mauka to Makai. Then, as time went on, in the late 1800s, it's said that there were many torrential rains that took place, and we have the uh, river of Kulani Hakoi stream and Waipuilani stream and all those rivers from Kula come down here and it is said that by the late 1800s a lot of sediment from the Mauka area had filled in our fish pond and that's why you see Ko Ie Ie fish pond is much smaller compared to the other two fish ponds found further south of us. So enjoy learning about Ko Ie Ie Fish Pond and the area of Kalepo Lepo. And I invite you one day to come and visit us so you can learn more firsthand about the beauty of this area. One of the Maui Fish Pond Association's main missions is to rebuild and maintain the Ko Ie Ie Fish Pond. They help maintain the wall by restoring rocks that have fallen off to keep it strong and in one piece. The second part of the fish pond's mission is education. Groups can participate in restoration of the fish pond and learn about the ecology and cultural history of the fish pond. A Hawaiian loka ia, or fish pond, is essentially a fish pen to hold fish for the community. In ancient Hawaii, Hawaiian people used fish ponds for food, trade, and wealth. They are surrounded by a rock wall and have a makaha, or sweet gate, at the entrance. The makaha was made of ohia, or other strong woods. The spaces in the makaha allowed smaller fish to swim in and out but keep bigger fish in. Fish ponds played a huge role in ancient Hawaii communities and are still important today. They provided a reliable food source, showed the wealth of ali'i, or chiefs, and provided fish to trade with other chiefs. The waters surrounding Ko'ie'ie Fish Pond are located within the Hawaiian Islands Humpback Whale National Marine Sanctuary. The Hawaiian Islands Humpback Whale National Marine Sanctuary spans the waters between Molokai, Lanai, and Maui, although there are other smaller sections by other islands. It's an important whale habitat hosting thousands of humpback whales each winter. The sanctuary is managed by NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. The sanctuary's mission is to protect humpback whales and their habitats here in Hawaii through education, science, and resource protection. The sanctuary leads research on the population of humpback whales here in Hawaii. The sanctuary's headquarters are located here in Kihei by Ko Ie Ie Fish Pond. They document the distribution of whales and their use of the sanctuary and the impacts that humans can have on the whales. NOAA monitors the whales, both visually and acoustically. They use this data to track the whale's migration and assess the population size and overall health. The Hawaiian Island Humpback Whale National Marine Sanctuary offers many learning opportunities for the community. 
They work with local educators to provide classes and workshops, participate in classroom visits, and provide information about marine-related activities. Although the Visitor Center is not open at this time, you can visit the Sanctuary's website to see which opportunities are still offered. Entanglement in fishing line and other man-made debris is a global threat for whales. These entanglements can be deadly unless they are handled properly. The Hawaiian Islands Humpback Whale National Marine Sanctuary coordinates a team of trained men and women to help free the whales from this gear. Humpback whales are migratory animals that often travel thousands of miles between feeding grounds and breeding grounds. During the summer months, humpback whales feast on curl and small fish, building up fat for the long migration ahead. Every winter, humpback whales travel from the North Pacific and the Gulf of Alaska to the Hawaiian Islands. How long is this journey? It's about 3,000 miles one way. Humpback whales make this long journey to warmer, more protected waters around the Hawaiian Islands to breed and give birth to their young. Because of commercial whaling, humpback whale populations around the world were severely reduced. In 1973, all humpback whales in U.S. waters were protected by the Endangered Species Act. Today, many whale populations have recovered and the status has changed from endangered to threatened. We hope our video has inspired you to come visit Koia Ear. Now that you've learned more about the cultural and ecological significance of the area. And it's a great location to look for whales and other marine life. Mahalo! Mahalo.